am Caitlin Thompson. I'm a PT here at Panorama Orthopedics, and I'm here to talk you through the process of getting your shirt on and off after your rotator cuff surgery. Main thing is, again, that you want your arm to be supported the whole time. You want to try not to reach through your shirt or do anything really active with that side. You're going to be doing the whole process with your opposite side. So to get your shirt on, you want the logo facing downwards or the front of the shirt with the bottom at your waist. You're going to take the opposite side, kind of reach that all the way up to the sleeve and bunch it up so that you just make one little ring with that side. Once you have the sleeve there, you're going to help thread that hand through the sleeve and pull that all the way up to your armpit. Once it's up there, you're going to reach through with the opposite side to get that other sleeve in and then pull over the top of your head. Okay, this is a great time for baggy shirts, tight shirts, that's going to be very difficult to do. You can also wear a button down where you thread in the operative side first, reach back, pull that on, and you can button it up here. To get your shirt off, you're going to go in the, basically the opposite um, order of what you just did. So you take your op non-operative side, reach back behind you and pull that over your head. Now slip out that side and then thread that all the way down your arm. Great. Once your shirt is off, this is also a great time to bathe or kind of clean yourself up with the arm supported. Early on after your recovery, you'll probably be doing a sponge bath. You want to just be avoiding the incisions for the time being until all the bandages have been removed.